A day in the life of a cybersecurity specialist, Incident Response Edition. I woke up at around 7am and Aika was already begging me for treats, so I gave her a few. After giving her the treat, she was disinterested because she got what she wanted. I did the regular morning routine, brushed my teeth, made my bed, and got breakfast. Many of you commented on how weird it was that I dress in jeans when working from home, so I wore sweatpants today. Hope you're happy. I logged in to work at around 8am and immediately started working an ongoing malware incident affecting about 50 devices. I coordinated with the help desks in the local area that service the affected machines to ensure that the malware is removed and that the devices are returned to a good known state. There was also a PUA incident affecting about 10 machines. In the middle of working those incidents, we got a report from a user about a vishing attempt. Vishing stands for voice phishing and occurs when a bad actor calls a potential victim, sometimes spoofing known phone numbers in attempts to gather information or otherwise gain unauthorized access. Typically, these are just spam calls and there's really nothing we can do about it, but we have had vishing incidents in the past that developed into something potentially more serious, so we requested additional information from the user to determine the next steps. At around 9.30 a.m., I had to jump into a meeting with other incident response personnel from our sister companies. After that meeting ended, one of our security engineers notified me of a malicious browser that was found on a few systems within the organization. This browser application turned out to be a browser hijacker. These are programs that look very similar to well-known web browsers like Chrome and Edge, and they assert themselves as default web browsers without the user's consent. They then log and export information related to user search queries, payment information, login credentials, and more. Browser hijacking can also occur in the form of changes to the default search engine on the machine, which may install adware or spyware or cause frequent unwanted pop-ups. Many pieces of software like this have very involved or difficult removal processes, so I just decided to request a re-image of the affected machines. At around 11 a.m., I had a meeting with some coworkers to discuss a potential lab migration into a new cloud environment, and at 12 p.m. I took a break for lunch. I decided to go to Chick-fil-A, which I feel like I've done a lot in these videos. It's good food, okay, so don't judge me. But there is this turn when going to the Chick-fil-A parking lot that makes you cross like four lanes of busy traffic, which is always really annoying. But when I got back, I watched some YouTube. I returned to work at around 1 p.m. and continued to work on the malicious browser incidents from earlier and did some various other side tasks until about 3.30 p.m. At this point, I switched gears into closing a few incidents that had been remediated and went through the reported phishing emails for the day. It was then about 4.40pm in time for me to log off for the day. 